more techniques to make your work stand out. In this After Effects video, we're gonna learn how to create some really cool overlay assets that you can use to help enhance your motion graphics projects fairly quick. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel, Sunduck Film. We're gonna be creating animated lines to help create depth and extreme levels of detail in our motion graphic projects. So if you're ready to create something awesome, please be sure to drop a like on this video and let's jump in. So the goal of this video is to take a project you have put together and quickly add some overlay elements that's just gonna help punch it to the next level fairly quick. The first thing we wanna do to get started is create a new composition. Call it line one and click okay. Come here, grab the pen tool. You can grab any shape tool you want. So if you want to create circles, you can do that. But specifically, we're gonna use the pen tool to create a line. So make sure fill is set to none and you make sure the stroke is set to solid color. And we'll use the stroke with a 35. So we'll zoom out of our composition. We'll click a point and click another point across the composition like this. This will create a straight line. We'll click off of everything. And then we'll go ahead and do the same exact thing again. And we'll repeat this process and create maybe four to five different lines. So we should have five different shape layers here. We'll open up shape layer one, come here to add and add a trim at paths. We'll open it up, set the end to 0%, add a keyframe for start, move forward by one second, and set up to 100%. And we'll come here, we'll copy the trim paths, and we'll select the other four layers and we'll paste it on there. So now everything will be animated in like this. Another thing we want to do is select each layer and control double click the pan behind tool. This will center the anchor point for every line. So make sure you repeat this process for every single line that you have. Then we select all the layers, hit R and keyboard for rotation, alt click the stopwatch for one of them, type in time, asterisk two, we'll copy the expression and we'll go ahead and just paste that into every layer. And then we'll just grab two of these layers here and we'll put a negative symbol in front of the two. This way the line will rotate in the opposite direction. So now you should have your lines animated in like this. Another thing that we can do is just offset these layers in time just by a little bit so that the lines don't animate in at the same exact moment. And then what we'll do is come here to layer, new adjustment layer. We'll go to effect, blur and sharpen and grab a Gaussian blur. We'll set the blurriness up to 75 and then we'll go to effect, color correction, levels. And the reason why we're using these effects is to create a texture on our lines very quickly. We'll come here to the channel for levels and set it to alpha. We'll set the input black to 120 and the input white to 123. And this will morph the intersections of every single line. So before and after, you know, everything was straight. And now all the intersections seem a little bit more blobby. Then we come here to effect generate fill. We can come here and just change the color of the entire thing to whatever color you wish to do. I'll do like a nice dark blue color. Click OK. So we'll grab all the layers, go to layer pre-compose. We'll call it graphic overlay one and click OK. So there's a couple things we want to do. We'll come here to layer. Uh, layer styles and add a bevel and emboss. We'll open it up. We'll set the highlight opacity to 100% and the shadow opacity to 40%. We'll come here to the highlight color and we want to select somewhat of a bluish color to match the palette. And this will help create depth within our lines so it'll stand out even more. So feel free to copy that hex code for the highlight color. Then we need to make sure that this is going to stand out on the background with a nice little drop shadow effect. So we'll go to effect perspective and add a drop shadow. We'll set the opacity up to say 65%. We'll set the distance to 45 and maybe the softness to 120. And of course, before we move further into our video, if you like saving time while producing awesome work, we have over 18,000 templates for you to use here in After Effects and Premiere Pro. With the Motion Duck extension, you can preview, apply, and modify any templates within a few clicks. Be sure to check out our links in the description below to see all the template packs we have. And don't forget to download your free packs here for Premiere Pro and After Effects. So let's go to our main composition where our master work is gonna be at. Maybe you just have a simple title and a background, that's totally fine. And we can grab our line one composition and bring it into our master work. And you'll see that drop shadow and the bevelness and all that's gonna be there. So automatically this is gonna look really good as is, but we wanna go ahead and add even more detail and depth to our work. So we'll go back into that composition uh, and we'll come here to the composition graphic overlay one. We'll duplicate it and we'll bring it into our work. And we can kind of just quickly copy the bevel and emboss, paste it in there, and then just copy the drop shadow and paste it on the new duplicate. Then we go into graphic overlay two and we can make some adjustments here. So for example, we'll go ahead and grab the pen tool and we'll just go ahead and create some new uh, random lines. So I went ahead and created three different lines here. And as before, we'll go ahead and find the trim paths. We'll copy it and we'll paste it to each layer and we'll bring up rotation. We'll all click stopwatch and we'll do the time asterisk two for each of the three new layers. And we can delete all the bottom layers as well. And I went ahead and added time expression to each three rotation values, bring it underneath our adjustment layer. 
And we'll go to our adjustment layer and we can change the fill color to something else, maybe like a nice dark gray color so it'll stand out. And if we go back to our main composition, all those new lines will be added in there and we have a different color variation. So now we wanna overlay these lines on top of our graphics as well. So this is gonna create the ultimate level of depth. So let's come here to line one and we'll just duplicate it. And we can bring it on top of all of our work and it's automatically gonna be overlaid, but we can come here to rotation, set it to 180 degrees and we'll go into our line two. What we can do is maybe just delete graphic overlay two, come into our project panel, duplicate graphic overlay one and just select graphic overlay one here Hold down alternate keyboard, bring overlay three into overlay one, and this will automatically replace it. So then we go back in this composition and we can just kind of hide a few of these really quick. And more than welcome to just kind of rearrange these. So I kind of just like ended up not hiding any of them. Uh, and then we go back to our main composition and you're gonna have a more of a unique look on top of your graphics. And what I'm gonna wanna do actually real quick is change the uh, shape layer stroke width up to 45 from 35, and this will make everything more bulky. So when it's all said and done, you have a really cool composition like this. So remember to go ahead and create yourself a background layer, make it any color that you wish. And you can overlay these lines on top of your graphics, logo animations, or anything that you're working on here in After Effects. To close up the video, I want to mention our brand new free 100 template pack for After Effects and Premiere Pro. It comes with our Motion Duck extension. And I just said it was free. So check that link below if you want to get some free templates. And always be creative.